Okay, it's the next morning. I've got like six lights on in this room and I still feel like I don't have enough light. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna take these clamps off now to see, you can see here why I use scrap leather now uh, so that I can protect the leather I'm clamping. These big clamps are really strong and they'll put I'll put a dent in your holster pretty quickly or whatever you're working on. You can see that piece has actually kept its shape. Hmm. Not sure what that is. What's coming off it looks like. I might have made a mistake there. It looks like part of the finish on the handle came off and kind of stuck to the leather. But as you can see, it's keeping its shape. And that is a good snug fit. As a matter of fact, it'll have to wear in. Hopefully my pistol is not rusty. <laughs> Wow, as you can see, when that leather dries and you've shaped it, those little indentations see will grab that uh, trigger housing that uh, inside the trigger guard. So I'm happy with the way that has turned out. I was really kind of concerned that maybe I was going to have to put a strap around to hold it in. Now, I still may do this. I still may put a strap around it and let in, you know, over here. And maybe with some Velcro. I don't know. Uh, I may try it without it. That's something I can add to it. That's the wonderful thing about making things with leather yourself or with any material. Uh, you can alter it. There's always a modification you can make, right? But now it's time to think about stitching. And so what I want to do is make just a, figure out a nice little pattern right around in here. It should be pretty simple. Wow, I just, uh, I'm having fun admiring this right now. I mean, it's kind of rough looking, but man, the retention is great. I'm really happy with that so far. I guess I need to quit playing and get to stitching. <laughs> okay, so to start my stitching process, I'm gonna use this little groover. And you can see here, it has a, a little adjustable rod here that you can use as a spacer. Uh, I don't want the, ed the, the stitching to be right near the edge. Um, plus, this thing is basically contact cemented together and it's not coming apart. The stitching is just for aesthetics. So, what I'm going to do, and I've never actually used one of these before, so what I did was I practiced on a scrap piece of leather because once you do this, you can't really change it. <laughs> it, it puts a little groove in your leather and it kind of, let's see, you gotta be real careful. You gotta kind of slow because what it does is it puts a little groove in your leather as a as a guide for the stitching, but it also kind of recesses the stitches. You'll notice uh, on some of my earlier well here some of my earlier work you'll see you know the stitches really kind of stick up and that allows things to rub on them and uh they're not recessed. I just did this in a hurry. It's kind of an experiment. I still like it though. It doesn't get a lot of use, so I'm not worried about it. Hopefully this holster is gonna get a lot of use and I want my stitches to be kind of protected. So what I would suggest is just going really slow and my stitching is gonna start right about here. So I'll try to do this so you can see, but at the same time, I gotta make sure I get it right. Now 
now I'm going to decide this side will come up further because of the shape of the pistol, the trigger guard. So it's going to kind of curve up like that too. This can be a little bit of just a hand work here. Okay, that's not very pretty. <laughs> People often ask me if I'll make holsters for them and I'm like, no. <laughs> because I'm not that good at it. <laughs> so here, see, I've got to kind of curve back around because this has a curve to it. I can't just come straight across. I could, but it might look kind of funky. So I'm going to attempt to just put a curve by hand. My lighting is screwing me up too. There's a technique you can use. You can kind of get your hand planted where you want it to be and plant this thing and then you can kind of rotate the the holster so that's not perfect but it's good enough for me. If you can see that angle. Okay, the next tool I'm going to use is just a little guide, a little wheel that has points on it and it helps you lay out your stitching, your stitch spacing. So what you do now is you'll take and just run this around try to get one of the points started in the right place again my lighting is kind of screwing me up it's not exactly where I want it to be See there, little holes. Looks like I got a little scratch. I'm not sure how I did that little scratch out there, but I could probably work that out with a piece of wood. You can see here my edges aren't exactly perfect, and that's why I'm doing this stitching in a bit so I can take it to the sander and run it around and try to fix these edges. Alright, so now I'm going to drill some holes. Okay, to drill these holes, we're going to use a little drill bit, basically the same size as the sewing awl. And the reason I'm going to drill them is because this leather, this is really, that's probably five sixteenths of an inch thick. And you're never going to push this through that in any given amount of time, decent amount of time. So we will turn to modern technology and I want to try to get this as straight as possible because this pattern, this hole pattern is going to come through on the other side I kind of have to visualize these holes going all the way through you don't drill a hole in <laughs> your finger. I've actually done that before. Keep your finger out of the way on the back side.
Okay, the last step is stitching. And this is one reason why you want to drill your holes is because now I can just poke that through. And for your first run, or for the first time you poke this through, I'm going to just pull a bunch of this thread really twice as much as you think you're going to need through. So if you're visualizing this, if you're visualizing this thread going around, <laughs> make sure it goes around two or three times. This, you know, this thread's cheap, but you don't want to run out. Now the other trick is to not to get this twisted. Uh, I'll see if I can't show this. You don't want to have it turned this way going through. You want to have it turned this way so that when you put that through and you run this through you can pull this back through okay so if I had had it turned this way it would have made a loop that I couldn't get back through so what you'll do is just keep going let it make that little put you know push it through then make that little pull it back and it'll make that little loop on your needle there run that through and then pull that back and after you get a few you know a few stitches going you can pull it tight you know every now and then just give it a good tight tug This may seem kind of tedious, but got some good music playing in the background, or you know, you're listening to one of your favorite YouTubers. You know, turn on the Hickok radio show <laughs> and listen to that while you're stitching. It goes by pretty quick. I personally like to listen to. Shiano Pavarotti while well, I'm stitching. Okay, we're coming down to our last stitch here. So what you want to do here is that get tight and then run this through, pull some thread through. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Now you can just pull your needle back out. And then you can pull, see now both, both threads are on the same side. And this is the back side. That's where I wanted to end up. I didn't want to have any knots on the front. So, which really doesn't matter. Because all you're going to do is kind of tie a square knot in this. 
over under remember your boy scout knots over under oh crud that's good I broke it I was, but I still left enough to singe there what you want to do here is kind of twist these two little ends together because what you're trying to do is kind of cauterize them <laughs> or you're trying to just kind of melt them together okay so that's pretty good so we're going to just, just light that and when it gets close just flatten it out just kind of blow it out and flatten it out that's a little messy the other thing I can do is I can trim that a little bit if I want to I'm not gonna mess with it you know I'm just gonna not gonna worry about it it's my holster and I'm happy I'm happy that is all I'm going to do for right now I plan on using this as a pocket holster I'm not going to put the clip on it right now but I will show some pictures with the uh, clip on it.